want to pretend you're a panda too? Hello everyone, welcome to today's stream. Give me just a moment, because you're seeing currently a freeze frame on the uh, webcam, so give me just a moment. I just got my USB hub today, and I just plugged it in not two minutes ago, so I just have to reactivate the webcam, and it should be fine. Okay, uh, I don't know why it's blurry as fuck. One second. <laughs> Did it not... Yeah, autofocus, hi. Or not. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. And the brightness settings is fine, right? Everything is good now. Except it's a little too high. That's better. There we go. Okay, I just plugged the USB hub in, so forgive me for that. I think we're good to go, right? 
Good, good, good. Everything is green and sexy, but not as sexy as me, of course, because then you wouldn't be here. Excellent. Now I have my mouse plugged in as well, because I have a USB hub. And eventually I'll be shoving the microphone in that thing, too. All this equipment that I gotta have. Alright, so, today we're here again with Skylander Swap Force. And as was voted upon, uh, you guys voted for Riptide, so what better way to start the stream than to play Riptide? I haven't really... I've played him, like, a bit on the 3DS version. Um, but, uh, not on the console version. I actually have confirmed he's a little bit different on the console, like most of them are a little bit different. But, uh, I'm actually surprised. I thought you guys were going to vote for Punk Shock of those three characters. But, nope, you guys wanted Riptide. Here's Riptide. I, I played him a little bit on the 3DS. So that's, he has the levels up, but I never played him on console, so there's that. Anyway, first thing we have to do is talk to the elder bitch. Because we need to do... She's, we gotta summon a friend, apparently. Alright, he needs a hat. Strap Pronto. The and the hat he's gonna get is probably the freaking tiara. He's gonna get the tiara. Because that's six speed. That's a whale of a hat. Yeah, that's way faster. Thank Christ. <laughs> the slow movement speed, man. Especially for a melee character. There you are, Skylander. I have a way for you to contact Master Eon. Master Eon? Why would we summon Master Eon? He's God. Like, why do we need to summon God? He's basically God. I gotta smash X button to summon Eon. Don't pray to God, kids. Just smash your X button. <laughs> So what is what? Why why summon Eon? Now go on. He's waiting to speak to you. Okay, but why summon Eon? What's what's the point of that? Why why did we summon who amounts to God? Basically, I don't even know why we had to summon him. He's basically God. Greetings, Portal Master. You and your Skylanders have done very well so far, and now it is time for you to take the next step in your journey as a Portal Master. Didn't I already take Just the next step by buying this game? <laughs> You too can become more powerful. Your portal master rank will increase as you earn stars. Oh, so that's what you stars are for. I was wondering that because off stream I was playing a few extra challenges. Nothing that I would bother streaming. It was already stuff you guys seen, just little additional challenges. And they give you stars, and I thought, okay, but what's the point of the stars? So stars actually have a point. They actually level up your basically your account, so to speak. Rank up. I mean, am I gonna be like? I gotta be like at least Portal level ten, Master right? Cause up. like, Jesus. Portal Master we rank might be up. here a while. <laughs> we might be. Jesus. Portal Master rank up. Portal Master rank up. Portal Master rank up. How badass am I? Rank up. Pretty badass. Portal Master rank up. We're gonna be here a while. Portal Master rank up. Very impressive. Very, oh, that was well it. On your way to Did becoming a truly master? great portal master. <laughs> Very impressive. Increasing your portal master rank will also unlock new items in the shop for you to purchase. Oh, good. Finally, because like I, all the shit in the Return shop is locked. Whenever you wish to view your progress and see what new yeah, missions and good. challenges await Double you and your Skylanders. <laughs> Skylander, I have wonderful Chief just kind of snuck up on us. We were having a private moment, Chief. Just... Come on. Personal space. I have a swordfish. In my pants. It's not fun, actually. We cannot allow Chaos's creation of evilizers to continue. Go see Tessa when you are ready to go on your next mission. Why Tessa? We don't even know what Tessa's role is. She's just like... The bitch who gets shit done? I guess that's her role in this village. I guess. Is this even a village? Is this not a town? Was I never up here? I guess I was never up here. Money! Money for Riptide. Money for me. Oh, it's, wait, there's a soul gem up here for Hoot Loop? Why is there a soul gem for Hoot Loop up here? I don't have Hoot Loop with me today. I only played him a bit yesterday, actually. This was my first time. Not yesterday. The, uh... Previous stream. I don't need to preview nothing. 
turn the tide. Turn the nipple. Don't turn the nipple. That sounds painful. What is behind tree number two? And we go up. Then we go up. Then we go up. Oh, winged sapphire. Okay, no, that was worth it. <laughs> I love winged sapphires. I have a collection of them in my basement. I don't have a basement. Maybe it's your basement. I store them in your basement. That's what it is. Smash that A button and we. Oh. What? <laughs> what? Hidden level, I guess. Hidden. <laughs> I mean, it was it was it was up. Really? That's so weird. That this is weird. Why is there a level in the fountain? A little side scrolly level in the fountain. That's just weird. And I fell. <laughs> I didn't mean to fall. But I missed all that other stuff over there. Whee! Uh -huh. That's this is weird. I'm okay with it, but it's definitely weird that they would put this little thing in the in the woods, in the forest, in the trees, in the fountain. I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> I don't take drugs, surprisingly. I really don't. In fact, I've never taken drugs. Like, not drugs that get you high. I'm naturally high a lot of the time. Wiggle my stick. I got a cock. Big fat cock. 50 health, big fat cock. Did you know that having a penis increases your health? Do I want to wear the hat? Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I want to wear the big like giant cock. I love wearing cocks. I wear one all the time. Look at Reptile's face down there. He's just like, yeah. That cock. He like, you know, he loves it. And I can't blame him for it, you know? Right, I was supposed to go to Tessa. Right, okay. No, I got it, game. I know, I got it. I believe, I believe Tessa has missions for you to do. But I believe... Maybe I can upgrade something? I don't know if I have enough money for it. Actually, what's the, um, what's the chest currently? We could totally grab that chest. I need an Earth guy to open that. That's fine. I'm going to get Riptide some money. I also need technically money for this guy. I've never played a Scorp, actually. But we're we're going to play as Riptide, but I just need to open this chest. Open Sesame. And Riptide gets the money, and then Riptide gets the upgrade. Go Fish! Go fish. My favorite game as a kid. No, it really wasn't. Monopoly was my favorite game as a child, actually. I loved Monopoly. Everyone else hated Monopoly. I loved Monopoly. It was stimulating to my young mind. I haven't actually played Monopoly in probably 10 years, honestly. <laughs> I'd be surprised if I did. <laughs> I have no I have nobody to play it with. I'm ready to achieve physical penetration of my stats. To rise. Ra raise them. Rise them. <laughs> Press Y to drop a large whale and smack down a large number of enemies. I'm three gold pieces away from that. Press B to throw the held fish doing increased damage to enemies. That just increases damage. We already have that move. Press X to attack and critically hit with the new fish. Oh. Okay, well, let's get his third attack. We already have the uh, throwy thing. It just does increase damage with the upgrade. There you go. Third attack. Oh, yes. He whips out his big black fish. Nice. Well, it's a whale, but, you know. The joke, alright? The joke needed to live, alright? Even if it wasn't technically correct, it needed to live. It's just how it works. Sometimes I'm wrong, but sometimes I'm right. <laughs> we have to figure out where those evilizers are coming from. 
Well, wouldn't it be their cocks? It's coming from their cocks. This is going to be a cock joke stream. Like, we, I'm wearing a giant cock. I mean, come on. Like, I don't have much to work with here. Or do I? How can crystals be evil? Crystals are crystals. That's like saying fire is evil. It's just fire. It's not evil. It could be used for evil things, but I don't think I don't think you can call fire evil. Rampant ruins. There, that's the dig site that Snaggle Scale was telling us about. Oh, I hope the Skylanders can figure out some way of stopping whoever's behind this. Piece of cake. The Skylanders and I have been through stickier situations than stickier. this. Stickier. Oh, I'm sure you fight evil machines every day where you come from. Flint. No, we fight I'm evil penises, Tessa. Oh, you wouldn't have any experience with that because you're probably a lesbian. A little secret, Tessa. You want to know why I never He said sticky situations, so, you know, Tessa just didn't pick up on the memo. I think Flynn is constantly erect. That would explain why he's so awkward, you know? Well, how do you explain how awkward you are, Claro? We have to figure out how to stop them from using these parts to build more evilizers. Do you have any ideas, Flynn? No problemo. It's time to bring in... The monkey. The, m the monkey. The monkey. That's right. The monkey. The monkey. He'll never expect the monkey. They never do. The monkey? Get to the stone monkey. What? The monkey. How does he know about the monkey? Flint's never been in this part of the world. How does he know about the monkey? And what does monkey do? Is there nothing over here? No, nothing over there. Atmosphere. You're here, Skylander. A pack of foul villains has invaded our dig site and are making off with our rare finds. I'm just admiring how hard his wood is. By darkness were used to power our Kian battle suits and are very dangerous. You must find a way to stop whoever is behind this. Okay. Thanks for telling me what I was just told anyway. Skylanders of the air element, Skylanders of the air element will be ignored because I don't care. It's over there. It's... Wow, that is a big package he's got there. Ooh, two treasures. Ooh. Chompy Rustbud. Chompy Rustbud. I think it's pretty much the same thing as a regular Chompy, just different. Yeah, it's just a different model. Yeah, that's fine. Woo! Let me switch up. There we go. Yeah, this thing has the, uh... So he has... So the way uh, Riptide works is he's got two different weapons. He's got this one, which does sort of an AoE fan in front of him. And also when he throws it, it does a little AoE splash damage. And this is more or less a single target one. It's a little bit faster to use. And when he throws it, it's mostly just a single target little splash. All right. Brave Monkey Totems, one out of five. Can I open this? Can I not open that? I can't open that. Um, okay. Guess I'm not opening that. Whee! Okay. Whee! First introduction, actually, of those spike floors in this game. Archean Barrel Bot. Archean Barrel Bot. Oh, they sh oh, they shoot two projectiles. Okay. See, I jumped so he would aim up, and that way I was on the ground. Woo! Yeah, for these guys, I'll just use the single target weapon. There we go. You would think the gravestones would be where, like, chompies would spawn or something, but it's not the case. I need a magic and a fire. Did I not bring down a magic? Did I really not bring down a magic swappable guy? Really? I'll be right back. I didn't bring down a swappable magic guy. 
even not to play as, just for the purposes of these games. God damn, I'll be right back! Did it again! Magic guy to swap to. Okay, so I need magic and fire. Open the gate, and then we'll switch back to Riptide. Blast and furious! Blast and furious! Little chicken links. Okay, and back to Riptide. Go nipples! Go fishing for nipples. I enjoy fishing for nipples. I actually haven't fished since I was in the Boy Scouts. So many colors. <laughs> so many colors in this place. Okay. Yeah, a bit of moving platforming, okay. Actually, in a developer interview, ow! <laughs> in a developer interview, the guys actually said this game uh, was not intended to be like any sort of hardcore platformer. It's kind of weird that they say that, considering Skylanders in general, even before they had jumping, they still had a bunch of obstacles that you would have to avoid, which is basically platforming even without the jumping. In my book, a platformer doesn't necessarily mean jumping on platforms. It just means avoiding obstacles of some kind. Ooh, really? it, namely, obstacles that you have to, like, you know, move around to avoid specifically. Jesus! Alright, whoa, 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 you are about to, like, kill me. How much health do you have? He had a lot of health. Jeez. I was gonna say, like, yeah, we voted for Riptide, Claro. Well, he's dead now. I'm just checking something. Or I would be checking something if it loaded. Okay. <laughs> Five food gain. Yeah, I, I still haven't activated that pedestal shit. I don't understand what pedestals are in Woodboro. I guess I still haven't unlocked it, I guess. So I have no idea what that actually is. So hopefully Riptide doesn't die here, because that's entirely possible. Iron Tomb Trail. Oh no! It is collapsing. It's a good thing that I had no, I had no actual uh, cause for alarm. That seemed. I'm just saying it seemed rather pointless. Besides not letting me go backwards, I guess. And a little treasure puzzle for me to solve. Ah! Uh -huh. Why are you laughing like randomly, Riptide? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, man. Oh, they introduce a, uh... What's it called? Conveyor belt. They introduce a conveyor belt thing. Why is my dog making noise in the other room? I don't like when my dog makes noise in the other room because it usually means bad things. Okay. So that does that. Okay, I see what I gotta do. So I get the green bolt. Okay, now you need to get on the orange thing. Hit the green button again. Stand on the orange thing. There we go. And we're done. It just sounds like someone's taking, like, you know that sound when a poop hits the water in a toilet? That's the sound they make when they move. I'm just saying. It's true.
Is the, uh, is the camera still positioned in the right way? Because I feel like something moved. Nah, it's okay. Is there any way I can make that brighter? Because it looks very dark. It looks like, like I'm some kind of serial killer. Seriously dark. Alright, hold up. Up the brightness a bit. What's that do? That doesn't help the situation at all. <laughs> that doesn't help the situation at all. Nope. Back down. Okay, never mind. I try to make things better and they always end up worse. No, they, no, they don't actually. Often they don't. <laughs> New enemy? That's gotta be an enemy, right? Yeah, see, he looks cute and furry, then it's gonna turn evil. Yep. Evil eyes! Sugar bats. Ooh. I bet she tastes sweet. Oh, no. Okay, so it's kind of like the bull enemy, actually. It's like the bull enemy, but with less health. Oh, okay, that actually hurt. Yeah, it's like the bull enemy, but less health, basically. Okay. Let's go deep. I guess it's also slightly faster than the bull. Hello again, I guess. my friends. We seem to be having a problem with Hello. sugar bats. Well, not sugar bats exactly. That'd be somewhat absurd. These were spiky, enraged purple sugar bats. That's racist. Why everyone in this game is inadvertently racist? Just creatures. saying. Everyone in Swap Force is inadvertently racist because they always mention things like color, or specifically greebles. Everyone hates greebles in this game. And then they wonder why Greebles are so bad. Because it's like you hate them so much. Or maybe rightfully so. Just saying. It's possible. Ow. Jeez, okay. I thought I was hitting it from the side, but apparently just don't even don't even touch it when it's doing its dive thing. Well done, you. Away from me, beat. No, I need my uh There we go. I wanted the AoE one for the jump. Whoa, 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 that is a bigger bat. That is a bigger... That is a bigger bat. Okay, hi. Whoa. Yep, that is okay. I don't know if that knockback actually hurts me. Okay, we got three bats, two, one big one. Okay. Things are getting a little crazy here. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, big bat does a lot of damage. Jesus loves me. This side of is there some food in here that I could have? No? No food? No food. <laughs> no food for Claro. There we go, he's dead now. Well, he's not dead. I'm just freeing them from the evilized state. You know, we never asked if they actually want to be good. Maybe they like being evil. They seem to enjoy it, honestly. So, uh, Riptide's totally gonna die. Hey, a treasure chest. You know, he'll die rich at least. Money, money, money. So much money. Oh, thank you. Glorious. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the food. That accomplished very little. All right, I need the uh, ladder guy. Today I have with me Spy Rise. I'm sure we'll actually play him actually play him but for now he will just be used it's for the ladder climbing ladder really just wall climbing b2 wall dash right it's actually nice to tell you the button every time because honestly i'd forget <laughs> i mean it's usually always b for the movement stuff but you know music. No, I want that. Thank you. I gotta add these songs to my playlist, because these are nice little uh, songs. Good job. I always do a good job. Especially in the bedroom. Not that anyone knows, but me. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. <laughs> no missiles. A log bar? None of that. Huh. 
Oh, man. I hope he doesn't shoot any faster than that. Because <laughs> then I'm going to have to constantly be rolling around. It's gonna, Nope, It's it's got another stage to go. Okay. Round three. Don't even know why they gave me a watermelon here. I didn't take any hits yet, actually. Oh. I didn't take any hits yet. Boom. <laughs> Hit taken. Eh. Eh. Okay, there we go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Oh, there we go. I like how they just destroy it when they get near the top. Because they have to let me out. I did it! He looks so happy. I'm also happy. I love Skylanders. I love them. I wish I could be that happy, though. That is like a shit-eating grin if I've ever seen one. Bonus mission map. Alright. Back to Riptide until Riptide dies. Riptide will probably end up dead before this level ends. He probably will. Just throwing that out there. It's kind of funny when you think about it, right? You guys vote for Skylanders, and it's like... You're voting for which Skylander will probably die first. You better get out of here. I better get out of here? Why would I get out of here? I love being here. I like to commit genocide. It's one of my favorite activities in all video games. Pretty much every video. Pretty, pretty much, like, 90% of video games involve some kind of genocide. The devious gate was set up to stop intruders from entering the temple. Can you make it work? Well, you seem to know more about the gate than me. Why don't you know how to make it work? Put the microphone a little bit closer there. That's how you make it work? You just press the switch? Wow, what a great archaeologist you must be, huh? How does a door work? Have you tried the handle? No, oh, this is gonna be one of those things, right? Okay. Everybody run now! Please don't kill me. I do not wish to die. That is... Archean Rip Rotor. Archean Rip Rotor. It's nice that they reference the Archeans from uh, Giants, eh? Oh, I'm watching out for the spinning axes and the lasers and the, and the death. I'm, trust me, I'm looking out for that. That's something I'm definitely keeping an eye on. There we go. Can I hit him up there? I can't hit him while he's up there, no. Because I thought I could throw my shit up there. Nope. I can barely get away with killing him once he lands, actually, if I keep smashing him. Oh, just barely. Just barely have the time to kill him like that. Oh, we got- oh, okay. Take out the range guy. There we go. I love when they- when they give us these kind of enemy encounters where they actually, you know, design the, the stage around it. You know, the Skylanders is always really, really good about that, actually. Combining enemies in a way that makes it challenging. Uh, granted, this is still only, like, the, like, third or fourth level of the game. Apparently, there's, like, five total worlds, each with about four to five levels. It seems like it. So, you know, I guarantee you shit will get pretty hectic later on. Third gotten hectic a little here and there. But nothing, nothing akin to, you know, the final stuff of Giants. Of but of course, that was the final thing of Giants. We haven't gotten anywhere near that point in, in Swap Force here. I assume this is a bonus area? Yeah, this is a bonus area. Oh, four bats. Okay. I see. Everybody fly now. So my one sword can kind of hit multiple targets at once. Kind of. I'm going to take the uh, AoE sword out. There we go. That is a very slow sport sword, though. Woo! 
I actually read, uh, not a read, I watched a developer uh, GDC video of Skylanders about how they balance the characters, and they talked about different kinds of balance for each character. Um, and they actually threw out some little uh, things about it that they did to tweak the gameplay to make it more fun. Uh, for everyone involved, really, but their prime demographic, the guy even said, of course, was 6 to 10 year olds. Um, but he mentioned that when you jump in Skylanders, Swap Force anyway, uh, let's say you're in an attack and you jump, the moment you press that A button, they make you immune to damage for like half a second. That way you can always dodge everything. And so you can think to yourself, oh wow, I, I really nailed that dodge. And he, and he says in the, uh, in the video, no, you, you, we just made you invulnerable for like half a second <laughs> when you jump. Which really, it, it sounds like that's like a kid's thing, but honestly, like God of War does that, Dante's Inferno does that. I mean, it's nothing more than like iframes. You know, thought Demon Souls does it. So before anyone goes thinking, oh man, Skylanders is so easy because they make you immune to damage, Demon Souls does the same fucking shit, you elitist faggots, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying it was interesting hearing <laughs> hearing how they uh, tweak things late. like that a little bit, even in Skylanders. No, honestly, it's probably too late already. Arcane it's probably too late to stop you. Of course it is. I'm or I exist. It's too late already. You should have stopped me when I was uh, in the in my mother's womb. These are a lot like the other guys, just different graphics. Okay. They actually shoot out projectiles, so they are a little different. Okay. Oh man, they should totally combine these guys with the bats. They should just combine all the enemies. Just just give me just give me a field with all the enemies on it. <laughs> all the enemies we've got so far. Just throw all of, all of them at me. I want that. Oh, this is a, uh, oh. All right. Here we have, instead of Magna Charge, we have Freeze Blade. I think it's called Freeze Blade, right? Is that what he's called? Yep. Okay. I've played him a little bit on the 3DS. I've never played him on consoles, though. Oh, right, right, right. So he's got this movement thing. You actually have to keep tapping the button to keep him going like that. I believe eventually he, like, leaves a trail behind him that does, like, damage or slows enemies or something. And another racing section. Ready, three, two, two one, go. Oh, I'll go. You don't actually go until after he says go. I mean, basically, you just smash B for these sections because you want to boost all the time as much as you can. Of course, avoiding the obstacles, that, that's what makes it hard. And you can't jump during this. I, I thought you could, but you can't. I don't remember, but now nah, I remember you can't. <laughs> and I love how these side things, they don't require really any loading per se. They're built into the level. That's, that's what's really cool about them. Especially the flying ones. They're all built into the level. It's a nice touch that that kind of polish was put into the game. There's barely enough time to swerve into now from that. And finish line. There we go. That was okay. But what these things do, yeah, the challenges, I did some of those off stream. It's basically just like, do the race without taking a hit. Uh, or do the race with 10 seconds or more remaining on the timer. And for the for that particular one, trust me, you got to be boosting every single moment you can. So, the the challenges are actually challenging. Is what I'm saying. One, two, three, set me free. Come with me and we'll. I sing that Sonic thing so many freaking times. It's the easiest thing to like jump into, honestly. I think it's just that song that's just so easy to jump into. Plus ten luck. Another score. Another score. Rip time. Back to rip time. Go fish. I can only go fish so many times this time before we run out of cards. A deck has limited cards. There can only be so many fish. There's only so many fish in the sea as it is, and that dwindles every year because of global warming. <laughs> go green or go home. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, I... So, 
before when I said that this door is just, you know, flip the switch and it works, it's not. That's how it works. I just lucked out. That's how it works. You have to hit it next to the color that it's on. I just lucked out. I didn't notice that at first because I just randomly pressed the button and it worked. So I didn't even notice that the door actually requires you line up the colors. I didn't realize that. So I lied. It's not just flipping the switch. It's actually a little bit of a timing thing. Not really a puzzle, it's just a timing thing. Ooh, upgrade station. Nice. Let's see here. Well, I gotta get everything. Whale attacks do- Oh yeah, I, I have not even used his whale move. I completely forgot I even had it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get both of these ones. For speed to throw the felled fish, it does more damage. Yeah, I already got that move. It just does more damage. Okay. And uh, press X to attack critically with the new fish. Is there a time limit on that critical attack or what? That's my question. I completely forgot that I have that move. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I just haven't used it. Okay, so... Right, I think... You see that sparkle in his hand now? That's the critical hit. So the next attack that hits will be a critical hit. Every time you switch. Okay. So it's like, attack, switch, attack, switch. There you go. It's kind of like the most optimal way, generally speaking, to do the critical hits. You need an Earth Skylander to unlock Sky. this gate. You may recognize this one. It's beaten time. Mr. Terrafin. He's actually from the first game. And back to Riptide. Gonna, we, we are going to play as other characters besides Riptide. I'm just... I'm just playing Riptide. I'm okay with it. I definitely want to play Doombug next, honestly. That or Star Strike. Because I actually really like Star Strike's gameplay. I don't think there's much combat here. Well, I have... I have Scorp. I haven't even... I haven't even played Scorp at all. So I don't even know what the hell he does. It looks like he's a lobber type character, so he lobs attacks. That's actually, you can, if you watch that dev interview I talked about, he also mentioned how uh, characters fit into certain archetypes, like straight ahead, melee, or close, um, lobbers, and then just ranged or something, or, or something like that. It was interesting, though. It's a very nice, very nice uh, little co um, developer interview. I can't squeeze through. Oh, oh, that was close. I can't reach that? I need to, yeah, I need to move the other way. Then I can jump ahead. Then I can jump to that one. Okay, I get it. Whee! There we go. Just me. Turn the tide. Turn the nipple inside out. Oh! Oh! I see what they're doing. They combined... Oh, that's neat. That's neat. They combined the little door timer thing with the switch that actually activates it with the floor panel, with the uh, floor spikes. Very nice. Very nice. Now that's game design. Give me more, Skylanders. Give me so much more. I think I've said this before, but it's funny to me how, like, people complain that triple-A games uh, keep taking away content from the games that you love or whatever. I mean, Skylanders keeps adding every single game. They just keep adding shit. Although I heard someone say Skylanders wasn't technically triple-A, but I don't see how it isn't because, I mean, Activision publishes it, so <laughs> Activision would be triple-A. So I just think that person was wrong, but you know. Either way, my voice stands. I believe I can run away. I don't want to be impaled today. Oh, God. <laughs> that was close. That was actually pretty close. Another lovely hat. What does this one do? Is it as good as my cock? It's not as good as my cock. No, I don't want to wear... I don't want to replace my cock hat. It's my favorite hat. Of all the games. Regardless of the stats it gives you, it's my favorite hat. Because Just because it's a giant cock. 
I just love wearing giant cocks. On me, inside of me. I love them. Uh, you know what? I think it is time for a switch, isn't it? I think it's time we switched out Skylanders. Let's let's mix it up a bit. Um, who I want to... You know what, actually? Hold on. I want to show you guys... I never actually showed you proper usage of light core figures. I want to show you the proper usage of a light core figure. So we're going to wait for combat to start. And then we're going to do... We're going to shove a light core figure on there. So wait for the moment. Wait for the perfect moment. Wait for it. Okay, that's good enough. Good enough of a moment. We'll hit someone, right? <laughs> so, um, light core figures, it's kind of hard to show you. I'm not going to move the camera just because I have to reset it then. Um, so this figure actually glows on the portal, and this is known as a light core figure. And when you place them on the portal, they do a one-time-per-level AoE attack that hits everything around them. So, um... Yeah, it's best to switch into them into a combat situation. It basically kills most things except bigger enemies and, of course, bosses. Of course, you can use it to damage bosses very easily, but we haven't actually encountered any bosses yet in this game. Her uh, mask glows and also her hair in the background glows as well. And there's no batteries in the things, too. It's really cool. See, so there you go. Light core does a little damage thing. And I picked fire because fire is uh, the current element of the of the time right now oh god okay all right i did play her a little bit on the 3ds that's why she is leveled up and i've never played her on the console cherries delicious red cherries level up baby oh yeah you guys didn't really see that move so um she actually has besides just her little uh whip here that's super fast she also has i of course have no upgrade so she also has her third attack which i don't have yet but she also has this attack shoots out a little flame it'll do damage and it just keeps going until it hits a wall and then it explodes or you can press the button again and detonate it at any time so you can actually fling it this way still attack with that and detonate it behind you or something like that or any direction really which is pretty sexy And boom. Lighting the way. Lighting the way. Saving Skylanders the day. Of the Earth element are Skylanders strong. of the Earth element. And fuck off and die. Because <laughs> we're playing a smoke dash right now. I actually, I, like I said, I want to play Dune Bug and Door Star Strike at some point. So I will switch to them at some point. I don't know if it mattered which way I went. I don't know if it actually matters. She is wearing a hat, by the way. That's why she may look weird. Oh, I see. This was, like, a little more challenging of a section. I see. So they put, like, one section as easier but less rewards and one section as a little bit more challenging. A little more timing required or obser observation required, really. So that's what they did. Okay. So it actually did matter which way you went. Of course, you can go both ways and get both the rewards, if you're so inclined. Cutscene time! I assume he's going to be a boss, Evil right? Evil Glumshanks. Evil Glumshanks. Is he going to throw missiles at me all the time now or something? So he's like Magnet Charge and that he... Oh yeah, he's going to throw missiles at me all the time. Yay! I love bullet hell that follows me everywhere. I, it's alright. I'm not complaining. Oh wait, they actually stay there, so they smack down and they stay there and then they explode. Okay. So this is, uh, this is gonna be a thing that happens all the time here. Okay. That's fine, it's, it's nice, I'm okay with it. Push, push, push. I don't think it mattered which way I pushed it. Okay. Uh... Wait, how do I, how would I get that then? I'm confused. Does that work? Yeah, that does work. There we go. I was going to say, how do I get the thing on top of it? And uh, that does work. There we go. I don't know if that's, I hope that's only the second one. I might have probably, I feel like I've missed one or two. Or the rest of them. Because, I mean, they did introduce Evil Glumshanks, which I assume is, like, the boss 
of this particular area. It's weird. I saw the bat and I was like, oh yeah, let's attack it. And I'm like, wait, it's not evilized. It's not evil. Do you need a water, Skylander? Riptide opened that gate for me. Rip it open. Go, oh yeah. Talk dirty to me. <laughs> That's the kind of sex talk I'm about, right? A blaze of glory. You like when I fish it out? <laughs> Skylanders of the water, this looks awkward, right? I'm a fire Skylander on the water? That's, that's a little awkward, isn't it? Okay, so that just controls different height levels of a thing. Okay. I can't smash that? I can't smash. There's something in this game that I can't break. That's disappointing. Wait, this hey, thing talks? You want to give me a hand? Because I don't have any, and my back is all itchy. Push me up against that wall, will I don't know why you had to ask. I was going to do it anyway. Oh, that's great. Now a little to the left. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is awkward. Kids play this game. No, come on. Kids play this game, man. Come on. Rated E for sexual energy. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I get it. I swing that way, too. Or should I say I push that way? I'm terrible. <laughs> well, that was awkward as fuck. <laughs> I've never felt so awkward pushing a block in a video game before. So good job, devs. <laughs> you accomplished that. They've accomplished a lot. <laughs> I'm not knocking them. I love Skylanders. Do I really fucking do? Obviously, I own 124 figures now. Obviously, I love Skylanders. <laughs> Guardians, look out! Oh, a happy thing. All right, so something to bear in mind. The hoppy things. I think I've played them before on the console version, but on the 3DS version of the game, these jumping things are the worst. They are so buggy and glitchy, it's fucking crazy. So, hoppy thing, hoppy thing. There is a hoppy. Oh, right, fire kraken. But I'm not gonna play as fire kraken, I'm gonna play as blast zone, because I don't. Fire kraken, eh. Eh. I don't like his voice. His voice is annoying. <laughs> Blast, and Blast and furious! But I need his legs, because he's the jumping guy. I like Blast Zone. Blast Zone's cool. The Flaming Knight, like... Right, 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 yeah, I have played this before. This is actually... Oh, I see. I see what you're doing there, devs. You made platforms that are a uh, one-time hit. I see what you did there, devs. I see. I get it. Good job, Good job everybody! Bouncy, bouncy. And I missed some coins. I can't go back and get them. <laughs> okay, all right. Eh. Bouncy. Eh. I want to get all the coins. Blaststone needs all the monies. How else is he going to pay child support? No, Blaststone's cool like that. He doesn't get married. Or have kids. Blaststone is a virgin. It's canon. <laughs> I mean, he probably doesn't have a penis. If I was a flaming knight, I don't think I have room for a penis. And if I did have a penis and I was a flaming knight, it would probably be very painful, so I'd rather not have a penis anyway. Money! Money everywhere! Money in my hair! If I was a prostitute! Actually, I, I admitted on stream that I am a prostitute, actually. You can find me at your local uh, strip club. I'm not known as Clairol there, of course. I'm known as Sex McGee 5000. Because I hit 5000 RPM on my hip thrusts. It takes years. To get to that degree of, of trust, you know? 
and the angles don't forget the like it's it's one thing to go 500 miles per hour it's one thing to do that i can't talk and, and pay attention you can see why i'm nearly failing it's so, i can't talk and do this at the same time it's getting a little bit more challenging that i can't do that what was i talking about right thrusting and angles so it's not just about going 300 miles per hour into thrust Right. If you can only go five degrees and 300, 300 miles per hour on your thrust, you're pathetic. You're weak. Get the fuck out of here, right? But you, if you can go 300 miles per hour on your thrust and full 360 degree angle with a backflip, now, now that's sexy. Someone's going to pop in and watch that and be like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about thrusting. Doesn't, doesn't everyone talk about thrusting? We could talk about thrusting all day. 7% <laughs> critical hit and 5 elements power. You know, Blast Zone doesn't have a hat on. I just realized that. Blast Zone doesn't have a hat on. 7 critical hit, 5 elements power. He doesn't really need critical hit. Health is good. Health is good for him. I think health is good. He doesn't really need speed. Armor, critical hit, nah. <laughs> It'd be really awkward to give him the rain hat, wouldn't it? Um, I think I'm just gonna give him giant cock hat. Looking hotter than ever. Obviously, giant cocks are pretty hot. Ninety-eight point six degrees on average. That's the move that he. Wait. Oh, okay, that's the move that he has there. Okay. We everybody burn. Um, I'm gonna go back to Smolder Dad. Back to Smolder Dad. Gonna check something real quick. Checking thing. Very quiet stream day today. What would it look like if I opened. Actually, then the blinds would show up on the TV. Because I know it's very dark in here, and there's not much I can do about that. No, that looks terrible. That just is now. Now God Himself has visited my house. Okay. I can try turning the light on to the left. That wouldn't be an issue. One moment. Helps a little bit. It takes a few minutes for the uh, lamp to actually. Uh, you know, warm up, so to speak, I guess, and get brighter. Just passing through. What's up, Void Ranger? Welcome to the stream, buddy. It was very quiet. You're the first person I, that I think actually has showed up today that I've noticed. So thanks for showing up, Void Ranger. I'd give you a cookie if I could, but I only have a penis, and I don't think you want that. Looks assy mid you? No, I'm back. No, I'm here. I I was here. I was turning the lamp on because I know it's the webcam is very very dark. It looks old. it looks a lot better. Yeah, I was turning the lamp on. Sorry. <laughs> I was I was gone for literally like two seconds. Who's it? All right, I need a uh, giant to open that. I've got my eye on you. I love Vibro. Love him. We're going to play as him today, probably. But right now, I just want to open up this thing. Bum, 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 bum. Don't take the money, Eyebrawl. The money's not for you. The money's for Smolder Dash. A blaze of so do you, know, do you know anything about uh, Skylanders, by the way, Void Ranger? I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't. You're dark with all these homo jokes. I'm dark with all these homo jokes? I mean, I... I don't make black homo jokes. I make black jokes and I make homo jokes, but I never mix the two, right? Because I don't want to give black people more credit than they're worth. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm so terrible. Oh, that was one of the worst. Oh, I, I deserve to die for that one. Ooh. I'm not gonna die, but I'm just saying, like, I'm too busy laughing. I can't focus on this combat situation right now. Whee! 
There we go. Blow up. Everybody blows up. Don't knock me back. There we go. Okay. Now we can flip the switch. Okay. I missed. I got it. The stone totem. Maybe the light beams will trigger something. I don't think it's a trick. I think it's just evil. This is pretty much the, the thing. According to the ancient texts. So you never answered me, Void Ranger. Do you know anything about Skylanders? Or uh, why not more black jokes? I can use the attention and no Skylander knowledge here. Oh, okay. Oh, you're black. The legends say that once it's awake, will come to your aid. You are black, okay. I don't think, I don't know, I've never had a viewer s tell me that, like, they're black. But I make, I, you know me, I make gay jokes, racist jokes, Jewish jokes, I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a shit. It's fine. Um, no Skylander knowledge. So in case, in case you want to actually know what the hell I'm doing when I'm switching characters, these are actual figures that I'm putting on a portal. Let me, let me show you. Eh, it's no secret. It's no secret that you're black. Well, I wouldn't imagine <laughs> unless you wore an outfit. So you see, that's the portal. That's the character. You take the character off. Oh, look at that! I have no Skylander. Oh wait, I do. <laughs> A blaze of glory. That's the basics of how it works. This is actually the third game in the series of Skylander games. So I'm assuming I want it to be that. There we go. Way to go Skylander. Yeah, I did it. And by the way, it may look like a kid's game, but I'm playing on hard mode, and I, you can die very easily. <laughs> Trust me, you could die very easily. We almost had a death already. And once the Skylander dies in a level, you can't play them anymore for that entire level. Don't make me go full evil on you. Don't make me go full evil on you. That was very close to being sexual. But then again, I make everything sexual, so... I want to focus on this combat section, so don't mind me if I don't say much. So I want to get used to, like, maximizing her damage. Of the undead element are stronger in this zone. Wait, if she smashes her orb... Huh. Does that do damage if it smashes like that? I don't think... I think it probably either does less damage or no damage if she actually hits her own orb. So she has to, like, throw it behind. Yeah, okay, that would make sense to me to balance it out. Okay. I didn't even realize that until now. But I love Skylanders, in case you didn't know that yet. I love fucking Skylanders. I love fucking Skylanders. I'm gonna die. Okay, I didn't die. Jesus. I don't give you much time on that. Please don't hurt. Okay. <laughs> that was close. That was close. No killing me. Thank you. No touching. It's a kid's game, and if you keep playing on a hardcore mode, you're gonna have a kid. You're gonna have to have a kid. To get some pointers on how to beat it. No, I, I, I beat Giants on stream. I, we skipped over Aspire's Adventure because it hasn't aged well. It's the first game in the series. It didn't age well at all. So we skipped over it. This is Swap Force, the third game in the series, and uh, definitely the one where they up the production value of everything. This is when they completely, like, redid the graphical style of the game. And all the Skylanders were, like, updated visually. Even the older ones. But it's real. I don't consider it a kid's game, because you could play it on hard mode, and there's a lot of depth to the characters. As I pointed out, if I throw this orb and I hit it, it seems to do either no damage, or, at the very least, its AoE is a lot less than if I explode it normally. Um, so it actually, that's some depth just to this character, and every character has different moves and abilities. So can I, is it safer for me to jump back on that platform up there, or? I, yeah, I think it's way safer for me to go that way than, than try to go back down again. Okay. I gotta kill some things, and they're actually, this is actually the first Skylanders, see, look, I took two hits, and I'm already fucking, I'm down to like a third of my health, Jesus. Uh, this is actually the first Skylanders game that I think they ever introduced 
puzzle stuff combining it with the combat stuff because like yeah they've never i don't think they've ever done that before usually they kept them separate in giants but this is actually the first game where they've just started adding the puzzle stuff to it while at the same time having combat which i failed that miserably <laughs> smolder dash is about to die please don't die there you go. See, that the uh, ball move also knocks the enemy up, so I knew that would happen. So I actually had time not to die. There we go. Wait for it. There we go. Look, it's really important I do a good job here. It's really important I do a good job. Well... Evil people can't do very good jobs most of the time. If video games are any indication. Ow. Ow. Okay, Smolder Dash. Jesus. Jesus Christ. I'm about to die. Yeah, they've never combined those two enemies before. I'm actually, thankfully, kind of out of their range. They also backed away. I would like that watermelon over there. As I'm sure Voyrager would. And she got hit. Make the racist joke, the black character dies. <laughs> she's technically red, right? I mean, she's basically red with a black outfit on. That's basically what she is. All right, well, she's dead. Um. Okay, let's uh, let's whip out eyebrow. What am I? Have I played Overwatch? I have a shitty laptop. I can't play shit on computer, and I don't have a PS4 or an Xbox One. So no, I. Have. Ow. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, good thing I have the armor on. Alright, let me get rid of these range guys first. Jesus. Excuse me, pardon me. Giant coming through. Please don't kill. I need to eat my watermelons, thank you. Yeah, they, they did not give me much time to, uh... There we go. Smacky, smacky, smacky. There we go. Attack the one that attacks last first. Pro tip. Giving pro tips how to, uh... Wrecking Skylanders. I have an i5 laptop. Yeah, well, what, what generation is your i5 laptop? My generation is six years old. <laughs> It can't run. I don't have a graphics card in my laptop either. I don't have a graphics card in this thing. Elder Scrolls Legends, for example, used to run at, um... Jesus, I can't even... There we go. Uh... Sorry, I have to focus. <laughs> it's time it right. Um, Elder Scrolls Legends ran at, like... 30 FPS or under for me until they updated the game and they improved optimization. Now it runs at 60 FPS. So even that game didn't run for me. <laughs> you don't understand. When I my laptop is really shitty. So he wasn't a boss fight, but uh, he was constantly throwing missiles at you. So you know. Continue. Oh no! What did the wicked monkey do to you? Hmm. Now what would Lord Chaos do? Wait, what's that? Plan Z? Right. Plan Z. Okay. <clears throat> Initiate Plan Z. What's Plan Z? <laughs> oh, so it does. It does have a boss fight. Okay. I am assuming this is going to be a boss fight in a moment, right? Jeez. That was violent. Just ran right into the poor guy. Yep, there we go. Boss fight time. Very nice. Hi, Evil Glumshanks. Welcome to Evil Rehabilitation, where we sort all your problems out by pummeling you to death. It tends to work out very nicely, honestly. So this is actually the first boss fight of the game. 
Whoa, 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 okay. Does that not do damage? Oh, I see. I gotta ram him into the spikes. I got it. There we go. And now I can hit him. There we go. I get it. I get it. I got it. I don't think you're more powerful than Lord Chaos, no. The final boss fight in Giants was definitely harder than this, but I'm assuming you're going to change up your pattern in a moment. Punch, 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 and knock. There we go. Pattern change time. I know. I'll get rid of these pesky spikes. Well, you didn't get rid of all of them. It's time we put a stop to the Skylanders. Why even have the spikes here if they're if they're such a gentleman to you? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, okay. We're doing this right now. Bullet hell time. Ye old bullet hell. Different kind of bullet hell. Don't charge yet. Thank you. Now you're good. You're good. Hit it. Hit that <laughs> Hit that gas pedal. And a smack and a tap and you're gonna get whacked. Ratmaster Clarel in the house. <laughs> Do I rap as good as uh, a typical black man, Voyrager? Do you rap boy rage? <laughs> That's racist, Clara. I know. <laughs> Actually, boy rager in Skylanders Giants, there was a boss battle that rapped at you. No joke. They had a boss, and it was George Decay. If you're familiar with George Decay from Star Trek, he actually it was the voice of the robot, and he raps at you. Oh, he missed the spike wall? How did he miss the spike wall? No one can stop me. Set the spike walls of doom. I re Sorry, that was really loud. Spike walls of doom. There we go. Sorry, that was very loud. I will read your chat message as soon as I can, which is right now. If you can run Rift on any settings, your laptop can run Overwatch. I'm telling you, I can't run Overwatch. I'm telling you, I can't. <laughs> Number one, I can't run Overwatch. Number two, I don't care about Overwatch. I don't care. To me, it looks like a really shitty game. It's... I'll explain in a moment. I'll explain after the boss why I think it's a shitty game. I'll explain after I'm done fighting this boss here why this is bad. Why, why Overwatch is a bad game. And, and why people like Overwatch. Because there's a reason people like Overwatch and it's not because it's a good game. It's the same reason people like things like League of Legends or Dota 2, which I used I used to like Dota 2 and League of Legends. Oh my god, there's only one spike ball now. Okay. And he's not going to hit that. Alright, I need you to I need you to hit that wall. I need you to hit that wall. There we go. Okay. Ow, he ran me over. Okay. I don't know how many hits I'm going to be able to get on him. Just keep smacking him a little bit. Overwatch YouTuber. So, you're one of, like, the millions that, that do that? I'll explain why after the boss fight. Hopefully I don't forget. I don't want to explain it now, because I'd have to pause to really, like, get into it, because I can't talk and focus on the spike at the same time. Fear me! For I am evil! I am so evil! Eyebrawl's gonna die! Oh god, okay, Eyebrawl. Eyebrawl, you can't... You can't die on me. Okay, I need you to smack into that. Come on. And he's gonna need to do it two more times. I'm not gonna have enough time to smash him. Oh, hot dogs! Hot dogs! I love to eat hot dogs. Hot dogs are delicious and moist, and they remind me of penises. So, I mean, I don't know if they taste as good as penises, of course, but... One of the millions is nice company. Yeah, I need one more wall. Oh, he's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna... I figured he was gonna do his little thing one more time. Yeah, they wanted the last hurrah for him, I guess. All right. Ow. Ow. Okay, they, they only have shotgun blasts, so it's not like they have range. And I got hit. <laughs> no, I bro. All right, this is a good time to explain why Overwatch is uh, bad. So Overwatch is a bad game, right? Now, the reason people like Overwatch is because it gives them, first of all, it's competition. Humans like to compete. 
um, innately. It's kind of a thing. Most humans, anyway, like to compete innately. It's generally speaking a part of our nature. But the reason people like games like Dota 2, League of Legends, or Overwatch is because those games are agitating. They have two different modes of play, basically. You have losing, which nobody has fun doing in any of those games, right? Nobody does. Nobody does. And winning. And so people, when they lose, they get agitated. And then when they win, that agitation seems like something to benefit them. So, right, you get mad at the game, then you beat you know, a match or something, and then you get happy, and you feel like your anger was justified because it got you to that victory. That's what you think anyway. And so those kind of games are all about that particular kind of agitation. And people enjoy that because they, they just get into that loop of, oh, I hate this game because, you know, because how many people do you see rage at those kind of games when they lose? Practically everyone has their moments where they rage. And then they swipe back, and then they swap back to winning, and then they get happy again, and they think that again that agitation was justified, and so they get addicted to that kind of agitation because they associate it with the good thing of winning. That's why those games are bad games because there's no actual real fun to them. I, I I've played League of Legends for years. I've played Dota 2 for years. I don't play them anymore, and I can tell you at the end of the day they really weren't that fun. It was that cycle of agitation that was the thing that I was addicted to. That was what made me want to play those games. It wasn't the actual gameplay. It wasn't the actual enjoyment of them whatsoever. So that's why those games are enjoyed by people. It's just an agitation thing. It's not because they're actually good games. I brawl died. Poor I brawl. Alright, the boss is almost dead. Uh, we're just gonna go with I'm gonna finish this off. Um, we're gonna go with Sprocket. Why not? You have too much emotion emphasizing in vanity. I'm not exactly sure what I I know what you're saying, but I'm not sure what that means in that in this context. It's funny too that you can actually use his vehicle to ram into these enemies. <laughs> you can do that. That's just funny to me. One way to kill him, right? And smash into the wall, please. Thank you. And I win. It was an okay boss. It was okay. Not the most original Skylanders boss, definitely, that I've seen, but it was okay. You can do this. You're evil enough now. You want to go back to washing Chaos's dirty socks? This is it. This is your shot. <laughs> and we everything explodes in all these games everything it has to everything has to explode oh wow there was actually they actually brought so in the 3ds games of skylanders they always have these challenges for the boss levels that is usually you know for example no damage taken this is actually the first console game of skylanders where they've actually introduced those things for the boss fights where when you beat the ball, when you play the ball, because the bosses in this game are actually their own levels. That's the thing. They in the previous games they didn't separate the level between level and boss fight, and this one they did. So they made the boss fights have these little extra challenges, like no damage taken or, and no Skylanders defeated, which I failed because Eyebrow died. But now everyone's alive again. So. Glumshanks, what are you doing here? Yeah, say Glumshanks, you look different somehow. He looks blown up. I don't know. Less evil. Less evil. Ah, what's happening? Chaos! Why have you summoned me? Uh, me? That voice Come is Shanks. delicious. What did you do? Oh, master, I, I didn't... Uh... You've been careless, Chaos. Now, prepare to meet you. That's your... his mother. What? That's his mother. My what? Your... Is it my doom? No. It's worse, Chaos. Mother! <laughs> Mother! Of course! I love it. I see you haven't lost your flair for the dramatic. I suppose you think that was funny. <laughs> Hilarious, actually. You should have seen your face. Oh, hello, Glumshanks, dear. I see my son is still mistreating yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. What do you want, Mother? I am very busy. Oh, lighten up, Chaos. 
What's the point? But he's already so white. He can't get any lighter. You can't enjoy it. You know, when I attacked the Cloudbreak Islands, I did it with an evil smile on my face. Don't you always have an evil uh, smile on your face? hundred years ago. Besides, you failed. Failed? Ha! Because of me, the Skylanders were banished, leaving the Cloudbreak Islands completely unprotected for years. You know, Chaos, you told me your plan was going to be simple, but your all-out invasion has called far too much attention, and now the Skylanders are back. Um, she's got a point, Master. Silence! I will succeed in conquering the Cloudbreak Islands, and I'll do it my own evil way. Thanks for calling the wrong way. The wrong evil way. Chaos, I... I thought that went very well, sir. <laughs> How old is Chaos, actually? Do they ever give an age of how old he is? I know nobody's gonna answer that, I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't think they ever actually gave an age. Glad to see you back here in Woodboro, Skylander. It's nighttime now. News of your heroism has been spreading all throughout the Cloudbreak Islands, and many have offered to help in any way they can. In fact, Snagglescale has come here to personally lend a hand. He says he has a way to improve your battle skills. You should go see him at once. Well, I'm saying people aren't actually having fun. People may think they're having people may think they're having fun when they play Overwatch or the Tour League Legends, but they're really not. It's just that cycle of addiction of that agitation. That's what they're addicted to. That's what's fun to them. But honestly, objectively speaking, if you compare pretty much most other good video games that are not online competitive stuff to like Dota 2 League of Legends or Overwatch, they are more fun games. Like I've had way more fun in Skylanders than I've ever had in League of Legends, that I've ever had in Dota 2, than I've ever had in any online game that's competitive like that. Elder Scrolls Legends being the exception, but that's a CCG, which is not... It, CCGs really don't have that agitation to them because they're not team-based competitive things, it's just one-on-one -on -one matches. Very few guard games do anything with regards to multiplayer. It's not about me. I don't get... No, no, no. It's not It's not about... It's about people. I'm talking about people. I'm not talking about my experience. I'm talking about uh, everyone's experience. It's literally everyone's experience with those games. That's why those games always die out at some point. Right? Only the most hardcore addicts of that agitation continue to play those games to this day. You know, why is Heroes of New Earth still existing? Because there's still people that are that heavily invested in that kind of agitation, right? And the reason they don't switch over to League of Legends Dota 2 is just that they've invested all their time into that. I've never played Overwatch, but I probably wouldn't enjoy it because Overwatch is not a good game. It's not. It's a shitty class-based FPS, no different than TF2 in, in many ways. And it's just, and you, it's like, oh, you can't say that because you didn't play it. But I mean, it's nothing new. It's like the safest game that Blizzard has ever made, period, probably. It's so safely designed. There's nothing in it that's... Ooh, ah, you... Like, you know, there's nothing... There's nothing amazing about it. I don't see... I don't see why people love it so much. Hello, I actually can't afford anything as, uh... As Sprocket. I can't afford anything as Sprocket. Physical perfection to rival my own. I can't afford anything. I can't buy nothing. Hold on. Uh, does... Does Riptide should have enough money to upgrade, right? Go, fish. Yeah, he's got money. I don't think he actually... I don't think he has enough, though. Nope, he needs a thousand. Oh, okay. Damn it, Riptide. No money. You have no money, Riptide. Alright, what about Smolder Dash? He should have money. I don't, because I haven't upgraded her at all, so she definitely should have enough money to upgrade. Light core. Really? Only 455? I mean, I know I went through most of that level with Riptide, but I figured she would have a little bit more money than that. And she can't afford anything but her basic thing. Press Y to become solar charged for a short time, making all attacks more powerful. Eclipse needs to recharge for a short time after it's used before it can be used again. Okay, so it's a temporary powered up state. Okay. I get that. I think she's actually one of the few characters with that, at least in this game, anyway. I think other characters have that state, but that requires them to, like, at the expense of their health. The oh, wow. 
it actually not only like wow it makes her even faster oh it actually not only temporary gives her power but it actually it didn't mention this it changes her moves a little bit so you see normally her whip doesn't do anything it doesn't do that little spinny thing and normally her balls don't do that but when you're power charged first of all it's way quicker she has that aoe spin and the balls actually explode and they're like black holes they will suck the enemies in very cool very cool very, i like that that's very nice all right what about does eyebrow have enough money to upgrade? i don't know if eyebrow does I've got my eye. how much money do you have eyebrow Probably not enough to upgrade. Probably not. Wow, I have I have one upgrade for him. Okay, so I do have enough for the uh, eyeball. There we go. Good. Finally, I get that eyeball attack. Cause that looked very fun. So now I can summon more balls of eyes. That's not creepy at all. And slightly disgusting lovely it's like herpes in eyeball form it's the gift that keeps on giving um all right let's go ahead and switch over i want to play i want to play dune bug or star strike i'm gonna play dune bug can't beat the beetle But I don't see the point, like, you even mentioned the people are a puzzle that you have to deal with, like... That's just silly to me, like, why would I play a game where people get in the way of my enjoyment? That's just... You know. It's such an obvious thing that you don't think about when you're enraptured with these kind of games, but... If you really think about it, like, when I play Skylanders, there's nobody in my way to make me possibly not enjoy myself. I will always enjoy myself because fucking Skylanders is awesome. Don't take that out of context. Let me open that chest. I need a water to open that. And then we can get Doombug some money and maybe upgrade Doombug. Doombug can actually put enemies in an orb. And then that orb rolls around to actually deal damage. Very neat in my book. I mean, pretty much every Skylander's neat. Can't beat the beetle. I don't know. I'm just saying. I, I just don't. I just don't really see the enjoyment in it anymore. And trust me, I've played MOBAs and everything for years. I, I played that shit since I was like 15 years old. I'm 24 now. And I stopped playing around 24. And I don't see myself really ever going back. The only online game I play nowadays is Elder Scrolls uh, Legends. That's it. And that's not really like a MOBA at all. There's no agitation really to it. So do I have enough to upgrade him at all? Yes, we have no upgrades, as I said. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm 40 gold off. All right, hold on. I think I can get a little bit of gold over here. I just need 30, 40 little extra pieces. Less than 40, really. Money, please. Money, money. Money, money, money. I would like a upgrade. A upgrade would be great. Wait. It's weird. I, ch I changed the sheep's color? You play magic duels? I've probably... I've played, like, pretty much every card game that exists. It's just that I don't like them, besides Zelda Shield Legends. Oh, wait. Oh, that's how this works. This works differently than the 3DS version. Hold on. Oh, man. You can roll the ball. Does that do damage? When you, when you roll it? Oh, my, oh, wow. Okay. So it does damage and it knocks you back if you do that. Okay. And if I let it go... Okay. I, when I upgrade it, I'm sure it'll capture enemies like it does in the 3DS version of the game, but yeah. That's very different than the 3DS version of the game. He can't he can't grab it and roll it like this. That's interesting. He actually moves faster, too. I think he moves a little bit faster. I'm not positive on that. Hello again, Skylander, pal. But yeah, I've played Magic Duels. I don't care for it. 
Now you might not know it by looking at me. Oh, the, we've unlocked the arena. The Finally. Back in my prime. That took forever to unlock the arena. Undefeated I was in 99 matches. I was a fear from one edge of cloud break to the other. I would have got a hundred wins and more, but their scoreboard didn't go any higher. The scoreboard didn't go any higher. Okay. Here is where you can select the solo survival. Like Adjusted levels one Next, to five. Well, I mean, I'm a badass anyway. I could I could play with whatever level, even a twenty level. But Claro, that would that's not what it's saying. I know what it's saying. I'm just saying I could throw a twenty level on there and make it super easy. But yeah, um, do it. Can't beat the beetle. Can't beat the beetle. I'm gonna use Doom Bug. Let's do an arena battle. I finally unlocked this stuff. Jesus. Attack enemies to fill your multiplier meter. Fill your meter to raise your multiplier. Defeat enemies and grab loot to earn points. Getting hit slow. Getting hit lowers your multiplier, obviously. Okay. I assume I just survive until I defeat three stages of enemies with your attacks and by freeing those hungry plants. Okay. So there's actually three waves. So you have to just survive the three waves. Okay. I got it. Storm in a bottle. They have power ups now in their arena. Oh, that's new. Ready. Three, two, one. They didn't. They never had power ups in the arena you could pick up. Stage one. I gotta free these plants. Perfect. Woo! I highly doubt they give me any food pickups for this. Oh, look at that! Oh, I see, I told you! You pick up the little chompies? Oh, man, you can roll them up. Look at that. Look at that shit. Whee! Whee! I can't roll up the uh, bigger guys, but I can roll up the little chompies. And then I can release them. It doesn't seem to do damage, though. That's weird. It does damage to only the things in the ball. That's weird. I'm sure you gotta upgrade the ball to maybe do that. Okay. That's cool, though. I can roll up the little enemies. That's freaking cool. I got a power up for speed. Very nice. Okay. Ow. Okay. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to die on the first wave. That would just be embarrassing. Yeah, there we go. The plant guy will eat them for me. Thanks. <laughs> Come on in, guys. It's a party. Hey. 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 Oh, there we go. Now I can roll them. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I see. You can only roll two enemies at a time. So it's not that I couldn't roll them. It's just that... You can only roll two enemies at a time. I get it. So you can roll any small enemies at a time. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get his move now. So that's actually way more useful. And you can still attack them while they're attached to that ball, which is very nice. Now, I know for a fact you can't, uh, you cannot roll up the bigger enemies like this guy. Yeah, man. 